Hello friends, and welcome to PyShine. This video is about creating a simple graphical user interface in Python. This is part 3 of the PyQt5 learning series. We will add control to the GUI widgets. That includes buttons, labels, line edit, dials and sliders. By the end of this video, you will be able to make a responsive GUI with input numerical values from sliders and dials to the label widget. If you are new to PyShine, please subscribe for latest tutorials. Alright, in part 2 we made the main.ui file. Now, we run the designer from PowerShell. Let's Open it up in part 3. So, we made the three pages, buttons, dials and sliders. From the display widget, let's drag the label. Similarly, let's add the label to dials and sliders pages. We also add a line edit here. So, now we have line edit and label on both dials and slider pages. Let's change the font size and background of the text label. Click on the label and then in the property editor, go to the style sheet. Here, you can change the font size, let's select 48. Let's also add a background color. Let's change the text to dial value. Similarly, we can change the text to slider value in sliders page. Also, following same procedure, the font size and background color is changed. Let's save and run it. The text is currently left aligned. Let's align it to center. Next, we want to display the text that will be entered in the line edit widget. Simply click on the edit signal slot icon in the toolbar. Then, click on the line edit box and drag the arrow towards the slider value label box. Now, in this configure connection window, select text edited and the set text is shown. In this way, whenever a text is input, the label will display that text.
We can also do the same with sliders. Let's run it. As we change the slider, the value is updated on the label. Let's do the same things with dials. In the buttons page, let's clear the text upon any of them get clicked. All right, before converting this UI to Pi file, let's set the layout of this GUI. Press Ctrl key and select all buttons as shown. Then, click on the Layout Horizontally icon in Toolbar. Now, all these buttons are horizontally aligned. Let's select and align them vertically. To keep the spacing as desired, the horizontal and vertical spaces can be added. Let's select and arrange them as Grid layout from the toolbar. Here we can add spaces again. and click outside to grid layout all items. As you can see, when we resize the window, the items also get resized. Similarly, we align the dials and sliders pages. Now, let's save and convert this UI file to Python file. Let's open the main.py file and select all functions under the class. Press Shift Tab and Tab to align them. Also this part needs alignment. There is a warning written, whenever the main PI file is generated, the changes made here 
will be removed, so please take care of this important matter. Whenever you want to update the main PI file, simply rename the old file to avoid this. Let's save and run this Python code. Alright, let's view and change the code. The advantage of assigning signal and slot in the designer is quite obvious here. The dot clicked functions for the buttons are already available here. Let's add a function to set the text of label. You see that this label is for the buttons page. Now, we define a self.mw variable, which will represent the main window. In the function, let's get the text of the sender widget. It can be any of the buttons. Now, replace the buttons with this text. Let's save and run this Python code. Let's close the main window when the button box gets an OK. As each page of the tab widget has an index, let's change the index to zero so that when the application starts, the buttons page should appear instead of dials page. To set the sliders page, as default, let's change the index to 2. That's all for this part 3. If you like this video, please give your valuable comment, share, and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day, and see you again.